Casey, D Dave Van Horn said you're a lot. He thinks you're a lot better defender this year. That you always had the range, but he thinks you're kind of slowing down now, making more accurate throws, taking your time a little bit more. Do you, what, what, what's your thoughts on that? Um, yeah, I, I'd have to say we we've put a lot of work into it. Um, mainly just slowing the clock down in my head because um, this game is played very fast, and sometimes you need to slow the game down um, more than speeding it up. And you know, I, I've, I've played the game pretty fast, and uh, I like to speed it up a lot. And that's just my game. That's just how I've always been. So you know, we, we put a lot of talk into that. Um, I talk about it every single day. Um, so you know, honestly, just slowing that, that clock down, and it really, really uh, makes an improvement. You feel like you're gonna cut down on yours quite a bit. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, it's it's been good to see uh, things been going pretty good that way. So. Um, you know, time will just tell. Does that apply at the plate also? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, me and Thompson talk about it um, every single day about that too. Just slowing it down, um, you know, trust the approach, trust the process. And um, I think if we do that on both sides, um, I, I think we'll be good. What have you seen from Blake Adams? Blake has been extremely good as a freshman. Um, he's been anywhere from 94 to 96. Um, he's learned to throw a slider down in the zone, a big league slider, and um, he's worked on his changeup. Um, I mean, there's no reason that dude shouldn't go out and just shove for five, six, you know, even seven straight innings. Um, he has a great poise and attitude for a freshman, which is honestly kind of hard to find in a lot of guys coming in to fill a big role like that. Um, you know, you look back at last year like no one, and I thought he did a wonderful job with that. And um, Blake has come in and really done the same thing, and he'll do nothing but get better if he just keeps that attitude. What have you seen from Robert Moore so far? Robert, man, <laughs> he's pretty talented. Um, coming in, you know, he came in in December, graduated, left this high school early, um, missing high school baseball season. Um, to be with us, um, you know, that just tells you the dude wants to play. <clears throat> but, um, you know, the ability is there, and he does speed the game up a lot, um, kind of like I did, maybe even a little bit more. I think he probably has better hands, faster hands than I do. And, um, but, you know, right now, you know, he, he's been great. He's swinging it great on both sides of the plate. He's battling. Um, you know, he's showing that he's uh, meant to be in this role in this lineup that he's in, and he's proven himself, even though he's only been here for, you know, four or five weeks only. Um, it's been great to see from a young guy like that to battle with, you know, he's only 17 years old, and he's jumping in playing with 21, 22 year olds. Um, I think that tells you a lot about, you know, the player he is and what he wants to achieve um, in the game. But, um, you know, he's been, like I said, been really good defensively. He, like I said, does have better hands than me. Um, he's quicker. Uh, right now, we're just trying to get him to slow it down just a little bit because he gets a little sped up. And uh, it's you know it's just the same thing that applies to me applies to him. You just got to slow that clock down. But I mean, once he figures that out, uh, he's going to be unstoppable. Casey, you, you and Heston obviously have played a ton of games since you really got, got here. And now you're going into your draft eligible year. You guys seem to be on every All American team that comes out. Kind of what, what, what's your attitude going into this season? Um, you know, knowing. The expectations are so high for you guys once you draft eligible here. Well, um, expectations are high. <laughs> um, it seems like they always have been after the first year. Um, you know, honestly, we're not really looking into it. Um, you know, we don't talk about it. Um, Hessen doesn't talk about it. Um, we'll tell each other congrats, and then we move on. Um, you know, really, that's that's not the concern right now, and I don't think that will be the concern. Um, coming to the season because like it's 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 great to have you know people think that highly of you, but at the end of the day it's just opinions. You know we we haven't done anything. Season hasn't even started. Um, so I mean that that's that's cool to add on to what we have achieved here. But you know, um, you know we're not really going to look into it, and we're just going to take one game at a time. And then beyond you two guys, the whole team. Dave just said probably expectations for the team are at an all time high, and the expectations are always pretty high anyway. How, how do you guys? feel about that? Yeah, um, same thing goes for that. You know, everybody really doesn't try to look into it. You know, at the end of the day, we know what our, our goal is. And, um, you know, every single one of these guys came here for a reason. And they just want to achieve, you know, the same goals. You know, that's, that's win the West Division, you know, win regionals, win supers, 
then go to College World Series and win a national championship and come back with a ring. Um, everybody wants to do that, and we all know that. So, you know, the expectations are extremely high. Um, I think this year we have a pretty freaking good team. Um, honestly, it might be better than last year's and the year before, um, in my opinion. Um, top to bottom, the lineup is amazing. Our defense is outstanding. Um, there's no reason we shouldn't do something spectacular here with these guys. But, you know, they, they kind of take it the same way. They, they uh, you know, they take one game at a time. They don't look too much into it. And, um, you know, they're, they're all reaching for the same goal at the end of the day. Put the lineup together. Dave said so they stacked the lineup against those pitchers last weekend. The numbers seem to be pretty good. I wonder what your impressions were, though, of what you guys were able to do. Well, before we did that, I walked up to the bat one day and um, Opitz looked at me and said, we have the best offense in the country. And he was on the losing team after we had hit four or five home runs in one or two innings. Um, coming from a guy like Opitz, who's been behind the plate last year against some of the best offenses we've faced, um, I, that should tell you a lot about what kind of offense we really are. And um, I just looked at him and I was like, you really think so? And he was, he was just like, yeah, dude, like there's no way like we shouldn't put up, you know, monster numbers this year. And so, I mean, these guys work hard. I mean, we got one young guy in there. I guess you, you got Franklin back. He's still an underclassman, but, you know, he technically is an older guy. Um, and then, of course, you got all of us guys back, Nesbitt and Kerstad and Opitz and all them. But, um, man, this offense has exploded. And, um, it's really been exciting to watch. And a lot of the guys, the last two or three scrimmages we had, we're talking about how excited they were to see the actual lineup against somebody else because uh, we know our own guys. And, of course, they know us. So you never know. It's a 50-50 shot um, either way when you're facing your own guys for you know, almost a year now. But, um, yeah, everybody's excited, and, and I'm definitely impressed. On the flip side, when you have an inner team scrimmage like that, if, if one team does well, you know, they, they might wonder about the pitching staff. I wonder, is that just a, I mean, I think you were talking about that a second ago. Is it a byproduct of just seeing Connor and Patrick and Blake so many times you felt like that's what you did so well? Yeah, maybe sometimes, you know, you, you know, you know how the guys throw, you know, their go-to pitches. Um, of course, they have the scouting report on you. Um, so sometimes that might be part of it, but, um, you know, then again, even though you might know that, 94, 96 still isn't really easy to hit with 88 mile an hour cutters or sliders. So I think it goes kind of both ways. Great hitters plus, you know, we've seen them so much. You guys aren't using buzzers, are you? <coughs> huh? You guys aren't using buzzers, are you? Buzzers? Yeah. Nah. It's a, it's, it's a joke. <laughs> yeah, no, I got you. <laughs> no, no. Mm -hmm.